In this video, I will be showing you how to create random points. What you can see on your screen is an extent, that is the black outline that I've drawn in an area of South Africa, just north of Pretoria, covering areas in the northwest province. That's here where Rustenburg is. We have Limpopo province here, where Marakele National Park is, and then of course Gauteng, this is where Pretoria is. Let's say now I wish to sample in this area, I'd like to visit certain field sites, but I want these to be random. There's quite a nice tool that you can use, so just open your geoprocessing tab. You're going to look for the Create Random Points tool. If you don't know where it's located, you simply just type in create random or if you don't even know that it says um, create you simply just type in random points or just random and all the options will pop up for you you are interested in this one create random points simply click on it and then you have the normal inputs output location is where you want to save your points the feature class then you must give your feature class a certain name so for example you can call it random points or if you're going to create various sampling methods you can simply say sampling and then random something like that the constraining feature class is quite important this is where you can have an input feature class for example here the extent so this would be the black outline that you see on your screen once you have selected the extent, so a feature class, you'll see that this information here has changed. It doesn't look the same anymore. If I now just delete that, you'll see I have other options as well. You can actually set your extent um, yourself. If you know what your X and Y coordinates are, then you can very easily provide that extent. However, this is a little bit more difficult to do. The information is not that ex as accessible. So if you do have a feature class that delineates your study area, that by far is the easiest. So I will continue with that. Once you have specified the extent, uh, for, for in this case, that is my study area, I can decide how I want to create those random points. So one of those is simply saying how many I want. So that's the long option. You'll see you've got long and field. So the long option is simply saying how many points I want. I can spe and then specify this 100 points, 30 points, however much you want. I'll keep mine at 100. What that I can also do is because randomly generated points can actually draw very close to each other. And I don't necessarily want to have a point that is two meters from the next point, especially if you go to the field with a handheld GPS. These often have a, an accuracy of about three meters. So you could actually be overlapping in those points. So what you can do is you can actually set this unit. So mine is in a planar coordinate system that's in meters, a UTM zone. So you can actually specify that I want the points to be at least, let's say, 10 meters apart from each other, because then I account for that error margin that you'll have with a GPS. So this is a consideration that you can have. If you then say run, you'll see that 100 points are generated randomly in your extent. And this is how your screen could look. Yours will always look different. The points are randomly generated, so they shouldn't be drawing in exactly the same spot. If you run it again, you'll see that the output is actually different to the previous one because every time the random point should look slightly different. There is another way you can create random points, and this is in a field. And it can be quite useful to do that. What you see now is the DEM of the area, but I've actually reclassed this. So I've used my DEM um, and I've created five classes of that. I've used a natural breaks in this instance. You can use anything, for example, defined interval, it's up to you. But what I'm actually interested in is the different strata or different height intervals that I have across my study area. So if I just switch off the reclass DM, you'll see the original DM. That's how it looks there, ranging from 833 to 2135 meters. The reclass one is now in classes of 1 to 5 using natural breaks. 
What is nice about this is that I can now create random points within those classes. That is not only random sampling, that's actually stratified sampling because I use certain um, classes or strata, stratums to do this. And there's another video that explains how to do stratified random sampling where I'll go into this in greater detail. But for now, how to actually sample within those classes is by not using the long field, which is basically just an input number, but specifying on a field that I would those points to be created in. And here um, I would have to do a little bit of pre-processing to do that. I will explain that in greater detail in the video that explains how to create stratified random sampling points.